Hello, Jim. Jim, this is Phil. I just thought I'd give you an update. Um, in my spare time, I had a chance to put together a, a, a prototype, and I wanted to show you what it was. Okay, there's the occupancy board. And uh, I've attached it to a piece of white plastic, put some um, European barrier strips on it so that I can connect up my wires. And I've got a uh, prototype board that I put together here with a uh, Darlington transistor. I've got uh, leads hooked up for a power supply, which, ta-da, it's to a DC power pack. So I can adjust the voltage, and I'll show you what I did. Back to this. And then I've got the wires that go out to the lights, and I've labeled them common, which is positive, and then red and green. I've got the wires running over here, and I've just got a light sitting on the ground here. It's actually on my scratch pad, uh, my whiteboard. And I've got the wires hooked up there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on um, my railroad, which will power up the detector. Although nothing shows up here, I've got um, a, a resistor here that will simulate occupancy. And right now, let me turn on my power pack. <laughs> Set it for about 9 volts, somewhere in that range. And uh, you can see over here, with no train on the track, I've got a green light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate occupancy on here by um, putting a resistor in there, and it changes to a red light. Now, if I pull a resistor out, which I can't show you at the same time, it goes to green. Put the resistor in, it turns to red. So with no train on the track, it'll be green light just sitting there. And then when you have a train going on the track, it'll switch to red. Okay, that's it.